What is this smell that appears after the rain, and why do we like it so much? Some plants secrete unique oils. During the rain, this smell spreads through the air. Falling drops shake the soil. When this happens, some bacteria that live there release a chemical substance smelling of musk. Also, when lightning strikes, it breaks down molecules and releases ozone. That's why the air tastes like chlorine. But why do we all like these chemical smells? The rain is necessary for humanity and nature to survive. Our taste buds and sense of smell have evolved over millions of years to enjoy this odor. But this is just one of the theories that some scientists support. Why is it impossible to reach the end of a rainbow? Well, because a rainbow is not a material object. It's impossible to touch it. It's impossible to outline its contours. It is not in any particular place. The rainbow is an optical illusion created by sunlight, rain, and your vision. The light is reflected from the raindrops at a certain angle, and you see this miracle. When you look at a rainbow and start running towards it, it runs with you. Trying to touch a rainbow is almost the same as trying to pet this kitten you see on your computer screen. Is it possible to walk to the edge of the rain? Imagine that you take a step and get wet, then take a step back and find yourself in a dry place. Yes, it's possible, but the rain is not limited by clear borders. The wind scatters the drops and expands the impact zone. Rain clouds are high in the sky, so the drops disperse into a more expansive area while they're falling. Turn on the shower and try watering the flowers from a height of two floors. The water jet is thin at the top, but the further it falls, the wider it becomes. It's the same with rain. You can see how a wall of water is splashing the area from afar. But the closer you get to it, the more drops will fall on you, gradually and evenly, since the rain boundary is blurred. Why can't you hear sounds in space? If you watch two giant meteorites collide, you will not hear anything. Even the loudest rock concert will not produce a single musical chord. Sound doesn't propagate in space at all. Any sound is just vibrating air, and there's no air in outer space that could vibrate. So, sound waves can't exist there. Each cloud weighs many tons. The weight of even a small one is twice as heavy as an elephant. So why don't they fall? Clouds consist of tiny drops of water. Each drop is so light that gravity has almost no effect on them. They can't pass through the air and fall because of their small size. More precisely, they can, but slowly. The wind and hot air lift them back up during falling, so any cloud is made of billions of such droplets. The second reason is moisture. Moist air is lighter than dry air, so it doesn't fall. It always rises from the ground. The higher it goes, the more it freezes. Then, this gas turns into a liquid. During this process, extra heat is produced that supports the cloud in the sky. Each cloud is surrounded by a thin blanket of warm air. The area of clouds is vast. If you gather all the water particles close to each other, they will fall to the ground in the form of rain. Lakes and rivers freeze, but why don't oceans do the same? They're cold, but they still contain a lot of heat. And the larger the area of water is, the more challenging it is to drive this heat away. Put a mug and a big pan filled with water in the freezer, and you will see that the water in the mug will freeze much faster. It's the same with the ocean. Another reason is salt. All oceans contain a lot of it. And salt water is much harder to freeze than fresh water. There are many different undercurrents in the ocean. Warm waters flow into cold ones and prevent freezing. The final reason is the heat of the planet. The Earth gets warm from the core. The closer you are to the center, the hotter it gets. The ocean floor gets heat from this energy that passes thousands of miles through the Earth's crust. You're walking down the street, and suddenly it starts raining. How should you move to get less wet? If you run, you'll meet more drops on your way. You'll kind of crash into them, right? And if you run towards the wind, you'll soak through even faster, I guess. But if you walk slowly, more drops will fall on you from above, right? Hmm, choices. Scientists have calculated that if you run at a record speed, you'll get 10% less wet. 
You won't feel the difference between 100 and 90% though, so it's pointless. So the best you can do is run to the nearest coffee shop. The faster you can hide from the rain, the less wet you'll get. I can guarantee it. Can lightning strike twice in one place? Yep, look at high buildings with tall spires. Lightning often hits their tops more than once. This happens because the electric current prefers to take the easiest and fastest path. That's why lightning chooses the tallest object in the area with the smallest area. A tall tower built on a hill will always catch the charge. To secure buildings, people install lightning rods on them. You get out of the tub and put your feet on a warm mat. Feels good, right? But why are the bathroom tiles always so cold? In fact, they're the same temperature as everything else. Warm, moist air heats the walls and floors in the room, but when you set your feet on the tiles, they take away your heat. The tiles conduct heat much better than the mat. If sugar is that bad for your health, why do people still like to eat sweets? You should thank evolution for this. In fact, sugar is helpful, but only in small quantities and in its natural form. The natural source of sugar is fruit. They contain way more vitamins than vegetables. That's why, in prehistoric times, our ancestors loved fruit so much. Their bodies required more vitamins. But it was harder to find a sweet apple than leaves or grass. You had to make more effort to get an apricot. That's why evolution gave us a strong sugar craving. Many years later, sugar was added to chocolate and sweets, but the hunger has remained in us. Why don't dogs sweat? Actually, they do. It's just that their sweating system is different from ours. Dogs also have sweat glands, but they're hidden under their fur. The sweat gets stuck in the fur and can't evaporate, so it works better in places without hair. Pads of paws and the tip of the nose. But the main way for them to cool down is their breathing. Imagine a cool breeze on your skin after running. It feels so good. In the same way, dogs cool themselves through a unique breathing system. Why do the hands on the clock go to the right? The sun is the main reason. In ancient times, when people invented the sundial, the sun's shadow was moving to the right in the northern hemisphere and to the left in the southern hemisphere. People from the north were the first to have invented mechanical clocks, so the arrow always goes to the right. Imagine if the clock was created by people living in the southern hemisphere. Why is canned food good for so long? You don't even need to keep it in the fridge. It won't spoil anyway. And it's not the temperature, it's the absence of bacteria. Microorganisms infect food, but they can't get inside a sealed jar. Canned food blocks access to air. There's a complete vacuum inside the can, which means microbes can't multiply. Why are peppers spicy? And why do some people love it? Hot peppers protect themselves from rodents and insects thanks to their fiery taste. They're spicy thanks to a unique substance called capsaicin. It activates special receptors in our mouth and cause a burning sensation. In response, our body releases endorphins to eliminate the pungency. That's why many people like to eat spicy food. Swiss cheese has holes in it because of hay. Its microscopic particles fall into the bucket with milk. They settle there, and when the milk becomes cheese, those particles form large holes.